Humidity 82%, winds are calm, and pressure's holding steady. Now, we've got some time. The rest of today is just fine. Uh, we did add to our snow depth. Out west, they've really made up for a dry start to winter, and they've got a good snowpack going there. A lot of the uh, colder states and the resort ski resort states are up above two feet of snow at their bases. We get here to the east coast, we at least have something covering the ground. Less than an inch along the Jersey shoreline, about one to two inches elsewhere across the tri-state. Parts of eastern Long Island have nothing at all. Now, what we're looking at on the satellite and radar is winds that are coming out of the east, starting to come northeast to easterly, and a little bit of light flurry activity happening in some spots, especially for Sullivan, Ulster, and Dutchess County. That all ends by about 2 o'clock, and things are calm tonight and even into tomorrow. Most of the day on Saturday, just fine. But there has been a winter storm watch issued for the areas in blue and then a winter storm warning for more significant impacts for the northern counties here in pink. So New York's included in the winter storm watch, which means we're watching for the winter storm conditions uh, to develop. Right now on the future cast, what we know is that during the day on Saturday, the clouds will increase pretty rapidly for the afternoon, but the snow actually begins after 7 p.m. It comes in from the west. And as we get through these computer models, it's very tricky with the temperatures. We could be above freezing when the snow begins, which means there might be some melting on impact. Also, roads will be treated, so grassy surfaces would get the quick accumulation. We have an easterly wind as well as the snow begins. That means that the air over the ocean is coming inland, and it's mild compared to what we have on land. So accumulations early will be for northwest New Jersey and parts of the Hudson Valley stretching up through upstate New York. There will be a period of time where we could see some accumulation. Some of that could be snow. Some of that could also be a sleet or an ice mixing in. Rain does follow this. Parts of South Jersey will get all rain the entire event, maybe a coating to an inch recorded overnight, but you wake up and it's all gone. So it's just the official reporting stations. What we're dealing with is a lot of liquid, anywhere between an inch to almost two inches of water. Now, in a normal snowstorm, this could be a 10 to 1 ratio where we get snow stacking up nice and fluffy where we could be measuring in over a foot. However, the temperatures are above freezing. So we're near 40 degrees today, and then tomorrow during the day, our temperatures are hovering in the mid-30s across much of the area. By the time the snow begins, we do have above freezing temperatures, and those temperatures stay that way all the way through noon. That's why there's going to be significant mixing. Also, the easterly wind is going to continue at 20 to 25 miles an hour through much of the night on Saturday night into Sunday morning, where a gust up to 40 miles an hour possible, maybe even higher in some cases. But by that time, Sunday morning, 6 a.m., we've got a driving wind out of the north. Those gustily winds are going to come in. Hopefully, they dry the streets, but if they're not quick enough, they're going to combine with very cold temperatures, which